Hello, the semantic resolution is one strategy used for the resolution principle. Principle. It tells us where to start. Let's say we have this logic formula here, and we want to prove that this is not satisfiable. We can use the resolution principle for showing that. So, for example, we can make these two to a C, because not E and E will balance each other out. This is just the resolution principle. The question is, where do we start? And this is what this strategy tells us, or other strategy also tells us strategies. And Regarding to this strategy, we say that first we divide this big set of terms to two smaller sets of terms. For that, we have an interpretation. I'm not sure I'm translating from Japanese. We have an interpretation. We call it interpretation one, a Roman one, or an I, whatever you want. And we say, for example, that A should be true, B should be true, C should be true, and E itself should be false, so not E should be true. This, how you pronounce that, tilde, is just to emphasize that this, in this, in this case, that this is, that the E itself is false and that this is true. Why do I use this strange term? Because it's in the books, so you should understand what that means. So basically what we do is, a is true, B is true, C is true, E is false, so not E is true. So everything in here is true. This is random. You can use whatever you want. I just, yeah, choose it at random. And then you have the subset true, and you have the subset false. And whatever on top here will be true goes here. Whatever will be false goes here. So let's check in. Um, we use this interpretation, of course. B is true, so this will turn out true, so it goes here. And B is true, so this will turn out false. C is true, this will turn out false. So not B and not or not C will go in the bottom. A is true, so we'll go in our true set. I just hit the brackets, braces. Not uh, C is also true, so and E not E is also true. So this will also go in here. And here we got an E. E is false, so E goes in our false set. So, and now where do we start? Um, as far as I know, nobody tells us, so we start just at the beginning, but we use something, we use at least one of each other's sets, so well, means one of one set. So just start with these two and we end up with because B and not B balances itself out, we end up with not A or not C. Then it goes on like the linear resolution. We just use the one that we had just now and check one of the others. And maybe we go one by one. So, for example, if we now want to use this E, then it, in the next run we have to use something at the true from the true set. And but now because we have the not E. It, uh, not A would be better if we use this one so we end up with the not C and because we just use this one from the true set we it's a little bit stupid um, put these two together and we get an even longer one this is not so nice and because we just use the false set we now use the true set and this will leave us with perfect the empty set because C and not C balances itself out and not E and E balances itself out so we end up with the empty set and the empty set on this point tells us that this is not satisfiable which tells us that another formula made out of this might be satisfiable but you should know what I'm talking about at this point yeah and this is the semantic resolution it just tells us just divide it in two groups uh, with some given interpretation that you choose on your own and then like one by one and always the one that you just got and you try to get the empty set that's it i hope it helped if you have any questions comments just ask them in the comments section and check the video descriptions for updates on this video thanks for watching